Good day, students. You are welcome to the Lagos State e learning platform. My name is Okewo Adewale, your economics instructor for today. I shall be taking you through the meaning of financial institution. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to 1. Explain the meaning of financial institutions as well as identify the types of financial institutions. 2. Describe the meaning of commercial banks and the functions it performs. 3. Discuss the meaning of central bank and highlight the instrument used by central bank to control commercial banks. Meaning of financial institution. Financial institution can be described as all business organizations or enterprise which hold money for individuals and institutions and may borrow from them in order to grant loans or make other investments. There are two types of financial institutions, namely traditional financial institutions and modern financial institutions. Traditional financial institution. This refers to the age-long and local method of carrying out banking operations by providing financial services through the following. A job, otherwise known as contribution, where an individual mobilizes savings by encouraging the members of his community to save on daily weekly or monthly basis with him while he offers them financial services. A susu. This is also known as contribution among a group of individuals who have agreed to encourage themselves to save while assisting themselves by offering themselves financial services modern financial institutions. This refers to an organized system of banking and non-banking institutions carrying out financial services operation. It can be classified into banking and non-banking financial institutions. The banking financial institutions include commercial bank, central bank, Merchant Bank, Development Bank, and Community Bank. While non banking financial institutions include insurance companies, higher purchase and leasing companies, as well as building society. This is further demonstrated in the diagram below. Financial institutions, we have two branches on the diagram traditional financial institutions and modern financial institutions. Under the traditional financial institutions, we have Ajo and Isusu. And under the modern financial institutions, we have banking financial institutions and non-banking financial institutions. And under the banking financial institutions, we have commercial bank, central bank, development bank, community bank, and so on and so forth. While under non-banking financial institutions, we have insurance companies, higher purchase and leasing companies, as well as building societies. We shall now be looking at the meaning of commercial bank. Commercial bank can be described as a financial institution set up to mobilize deposits from savers and channels deposits to borrowers and also keep valuables in their board. It is a profit seeking business enterprise or organization dealing in money and credit in the sense that it accepts deposits and grants credit facilities to the members of the public who are their customers. Examples of commercial banks in Nigeria include First Bank, Access Bank, 
FCMB, Guarantee Trust Bank, Union Bank, and so on and so forth. These banks are classified into three categories based on their scope of operations. The commercial banks with international authorization and commercial banks with national authorization and finally commercial banks with regional authorization. Thank you for listening as we bring this session to a close. Please join me in the next broadcast. Thank you. You are welcome back. We have learned about the meaning of financial institutions, types of financial institutions, and meaning of commercial bank in our previous lesson. We shall now be looking at the functions of commercial bank. The function of commercial bank is classified into two. Primary or traditional functions and secondary functions. The primary or traditional functions of commercial bank include 1. Acceptance of deposit. The primary functions for which the commercial banks were established is to accept deposits from the general public who possesses surplus funds and are willing to deposit them so as to earn interest on it. This they do through the various financial products offered to the members of the public. This is further explained with the diagram below. Deposits. We have four branches there. Savings account, current account, fixed deposit account, and recurring deposit account. At this point, I want you learners to visit any commercial bank in your community and make inquiries about the products they offer to their customers as well as the functions they perform to their customers. Now, the second function performed by commercial bank as traditional function is advancing loans. Commercial bank engage in lending money to the individuals and companies who are their customers in the form of short and medium term loans, cash credits, overdraft and discounting of bills of exchange. Now to the secondary functions of commercial bank. 1. Agency services. The commercial bank act as an agent on behalf of their customers. They engage in collection and payment of bills, buying and selling of securities, payment of insurance premium and subscriptions on behalf of their customers. Number two, general utility services, such as safekeeping of valuables, documents, gold, and so on and so forth in their vault. Provision of essential services such as granting of ATM card, credit card, and debit card issuance, as well as issuance of demand draft, pay order, and travelers check. They also provide internet and mobile banking services as part of the general utility services they provide to their customers. Three, sale of application forms of competitive examination, such as that of Joint Admission and Multiplication Board, West African Examination Council, General Certificates of Education, to mention but a few. 4. Transfer of funds. Commercial banks assist in the transfer of funds from one person to another or from one place to 
another through its credit instruments and lastly credit creation commercial banks engage in credit creation they are authorized to create credit by granting more loans than the amount of the deposits they received from their customers i want to appreciate you sincerely for your participation in this lesson please join me in the next broadcast thank you you are welcome back after considering the meaning of commercial banks and the functions they perform we shall now be looking at the meaning of central bank and the instruments used by central bank to control commercial banks the central bank is also known as the apex financial institutions in a country it is exclusively owned by the government helping to control and supervise the entire monetary and financial system of a country the central bank regulates direct assist and coordinate the operations of other financial institutions so as to make them comply with the monetary and economic policies of the government the central bank performs the following functions one lender of last resort if there is liquidity problem in the commercial banks the central bank lent to them two issuance of a country's currency the central bank is responsible for issuing and redeeming a country's currency three bankers bank all commercial banks keep their surplus funds with the central bank four responsible for maintaining stability in the monetary sector by regulating the activities of all other banks five advisor and banker to the government the central bank advises the government on its monetary policies six executes external financial business on behalf of the government by keeping the country's foreign reserve seven operates as a clearing house for other banks by settling the indebtedness of commercial bank among themselves and eight it enables the public it manages the public debt by making payment on government securities when they mature i want you learners at this point to meditate on why the activities of commercial bank has to be controlled by the central bank now the instrument used by central bank to control commercial bank one open market operations it involves the selling and purchasing of government securities to reduce or increase money supply two bank rate policy this is increased to discourage borrowing and reduced to encourage lending by the public three cash ratio or liquidity ratio this is the proportion of commercial banks assets that must be kept in liquid form an increase in this ratio limits the ability of commercial banks to create credit a lower ratio enables them give out more loans and increase money supply four special directives these are instructions given to commercial banks by the central bank to either give out loans to stop lending to certain or stop lending to certain sectors of the economy five moral suasion this is an appeal to commercial banks to adopt certain lending policies to control money 
supply. Six, special deposits. The central bank can also ask the commercial banks to deposit part of their liquid assets with it. Such deposits become frozen so that the commercial banks cannot create further credit. And lastly, funding. The central bank can also control money supply by converting short-term loans to long-term ones. I appreciate you sincerely for your attention and participation as we bring this lesson to a close. Do evaluate your level of understanding with the following questions. 1. Differentiate clearly between a central bank and a commercial bank. 2. What are the functions performed by the commercial banks? 3. Discuss in details the instruments used by the central bank to control commercial banks. For further reading, please make use of the following. 1. Fundamentals of Economics for Senior Secondary School by R.A.I. Anyangwucha. 2. Essential Economics for Senior Secondary School by C.E. and D. 3. Waik Marking Guide 2019 Edition. 4. HTTP businessjargons.com. Please do take these questions for your assignment. 1. Describe the rules the roles played by capital markets in the economic development of your country. And secondly, identify the participants in the capital market and the instrument used in the capital market. Thank you and God bless.